Has somebody in your life just given birth? Well, I have a super cute congratulations card for you. Hey everybody, I'm Nick from TheBeardedHousewife.com, the blog and the YouTube channel that shows you simple ways to craft your house into a home. Today I had this really cute special delivery insert card to show you. It features a stork with a little baby bundle in its mouth, or carrying a baby bundle in its mouth. And uh, for this tutorial, I actually used a blue uh, insert, car insert layer uh, because I'm gonna be giving it to a friend who just gave birth to a baby boy, but it's, of course, totally uh, changeable. You can use pink cardstock. You could use green cardstock or gray cardstock or whatever color you want. Uh, it's a really simple card to do. Let's head on, head on over to my blog. I'll show you how to get the free file and then we'll get started making it. All right, so here we are at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. We're gonna head over to the resource library tab. If you don't have access to my free file library, you can click get access. You'll be emailed a password once you fill out a form and then you can enter the library. Once you type in the password, hit enter, you'll be brought to all the files. You're gonna to wanna to find number 85, which is the special delivery insert card. Click on that hyperlink, download it to your computer, and then unzip the file. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and open up Design Space and we can get started. We have a new project here in Design Space open. I'm gonna click Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. And then once I found the file, I click Open, and then Upload. Highlight that image and click insert image. Okay, it's brought it into our canvas and you will see here on the left in the layers panel, I've done everything for you. So all you have to do is head up to the make it button. You'll see the three different layers here. You can go ahead and click continue. Once your computer connects with your machine, go ahead and select your materials. For this tutorial, I am using the medium cardstock selection under the material selection. So uh, we can go ahead and start loading our mats. For this project, we're gonna need our green standard grip cutting mat, our selection of cardstock, the scoring wheel or scoring stylus, a Cricut pen in your choice of color, the Cricut brayer, scraper, and some glue. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the uh, layers cut out. I'm gonna add these to my mat and use my brayer to make sure that I adhere it well to the mat and then get everything cut out. I'll see you when it's all done. All right, now that everything has been cut out, let's go ahead and get started assembling. So first thing, you're gonna to wanna to grab the outer card layer and fold along the score lines. I like to flip it upside down and then use my Cricut scraper to press the fold. Now we can take our insert layer and then just carefully place the insert into the little slits on the outer card layer. And 
there we go. Now some of those areas are not wanting to lay as flat as I'd like, so I'm going to grab my glue and add a few dabs here and there to make sure that everything kind of folds nicely because I don't want people when they take it out of the envelope to accidentally rip the card if things are not folding completely flat or laying completely flat rather. That looks good. All right, let's set that, set that to the side and we can go ahead and do the envelope really quick. So for the envelope, you're gonna want to fold along all of the score lines. Press the fold with the scraper. And now take your glue or adhesive if you're going to use adhesive and run that along the bottom side of the side flaps and then bring the bottom flap up and that will form the envelope and there we go add a cute little message on the inside and this card is ready to go How cute. I love the little stork. I think that he turned out so, so great. And uh, I tried a different design on the corners of the insert card. So let me know in the comments below if you like that design, because if you do, then I'll make some more that way. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, make sure that you hit like and subscribe so you know every time that I come out with a new video. Head on over to my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. I have lots of other card tutorials there. Some, I have a really cute baby pop-up card that I'll actually put in the cards above uh, that's been really popular and a lot of people have made it. So make sure that you do check it out. Until next time, I'm Nick. I'm the Bearded Housewife. I will see everybody later. Bye.